There may be times you want a slightly comic book quality to the files that you're working with. We've looked at in an earlier movie some preview settings that we have when we're over here, and I'm going to right-click in the scene right here. And we've got Tune Tones down here, where we've got three tones. We have Comic Book. If we go ahead and engage some of these and come back to Outline Modes, or let's go ahead and come back here instead to the flat preview right here, we can see that we've got, well, some looks like this that, yeah, they're, you know, they're okay. They're nice for preview. And honestly, they're set up for people that do static imagery only coming out of this. If we go ahead and modify the Tune Tones to three tones plus highlight, we get some nice changes here. And of course, the newly improved or added comic book with color, which gives you just a really fun, a little more sophisticated look. But these aren't designed for rendering. And that's a problem with that. So the options that we have when we want to actually render our scene, we'll come up to Render, Render Settings, are fairly limited. There is a sketch area that we can work with, and we'll have a specific movie just about this, but there is no cartoon type of options right in here. In the preview area itself right here, we don't have the ability to go ahead and engage any of the tune options that we can have that we select after we choose a document display, the cartoon view up here. So our tune options are confined to working with tune outline. So you need to work with the, or in the context of the settings here of Firefly. And if I come back to the auto settings and let's say, you know what, let's dumb this thing down and take it all the way down to draft. But what we'll do over here now is say, I want a tune outline. And we've got some options for how thick or thin and whether it's a dark black or something a little bit more lighter, like a pencil, if we go with say, Let's go with a medium pencil. And then we'll just go ahead and render this off real quick. It executes a normal tune render. And what you saw real briefly there is the normals map that's letting the program know where it should find the edges or the lines to apply the tune shading. Now this looks a little bit dark right here. Or I should say not dark, but pixelated. And that's because it's giving that kind of pencil on paper look. We go ahead and call up our render settings again. We can go ahead and change this to something more like medium marker or medium pen, perhaps. The marker is just thicker and heavier. It'll do the same thing. Build first a normal map of the scene so it knows where it's supposed to be drawing lines. And then it goes ahead and delivers the lines. So these are a little more solid. And if we go ahead and take away some of the shadowing and the bounce light options, you get more of a comic book feel to it. And this can be animated. You can go ahead and run this through regular animations and everything you would need and shift the positions of the objects around as you swing the camera and do whatever you want to do. So these are your options for tune. Unfortunately, you can't use the comic book look and that's just set up for static. But there's some ways to kind of cheat and work with it and get some reasonably satisfactory results working with the tune option in the Firefly renderer.